Hi everyone, it's Wine Wednesday. Did you bring your glass? What's in your glass tonight? Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another episode of my Wine Diary series. Today it's Wine Wednesday. And this is just a fun way for me. It kind of breaks up the week. I get to have something fun and I get to sit and talk to you guys and have a little wine, have a little snack or dinner. And it just makes it really fun. And because it's October, I'm going to be in kind of like Halloween gear and just kind of make it fun. Spooky fun for the whole month. I know. So anyway, thank you guys so much for taking a few minutes out of your day to spend with me. It really means the world to me and I appreciate you guys so much. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. If you're new to my channel, I hope that you would please consider hitting that little red subscribe button over there. You know, it doesn't cost anything and it just really kind of boosts my mood getting new subscribers here and there. So thank you everyone that subscribed and everyone that watches and comments and likes. You guys are amazing. So anyway, as much fun as this is, but this here kind of fits the Halloween mood. If I'm going to be eating and drinking, I am, I am not that graceful. Yeah, I know. So yeah, I would make a mess. So let's get that out of the way. And that way we can have a little bit of wine, a little bit of drink. So what am I wearing today? So, well, this hat, uh, I don't, I think it's from last year. I probably did get it from Amazon. I have got rings over it. this hand from Shane. This one is from Shane. And this one is a Heidi Douse ring. And my necklace, I love Heidi Douse, so it's just uh, really kind of sparkly. And then the earrings right here are from Shane. Just, Shane is really fun to get some really nice costume jewelry, inexpensive. I grew up calling it costume jewelry, but now I think they call it fashion jewelry. Just have a lot of fun add some sparkle the dress i'm wearing is actually from amazon i know they just I, I i have to block that side again i have no idea what's happened to me but anyway so i just got this little kind of i don't know what kind of dress it is but it's just nice stretchy material no zippers no nothing i can't tie a bow so that's going to come undone we got like these little chiffon type bat wings i guess we'll call them on either side there's like a mini dress underneath and then there's this chiffon for leg that pretty much goes to the floor. Whoops. Like I said, I am not graceful at all. So anyway, yeah, so let's get this up because this is as much fun as this uh, hat is for Halloween. If you want to eat or drink and your name is Nancy, yeah, don't go there because you will make a mess. Yeah, I am not graceful. But anyway, I'm so glad you guys are here and I've got a new wine to try. And because I couldn't get the Sip and Savor, didn't have that awesome wine that they had last year, I got a few different wines this year that have like a Halloween spooky theme. I know, it's so much fun. It's, yeah, there's a million of them out there. It's, it's hard to pick, it really is. But different online stores only have so much. So anyway, there's a Walking Dead series wine. But every place that I've gone online to find it, it's just too expensive to ship. So I'm hoping it comes to my area and I can get it locally. So anyway, this is a Vampire. How cool is that for a Halloween one? So it's a Cabernet Sauvignon from California. It's a 2020. Focus, please. And it's produced and bottled by Vampire Vineyards. So I'm sure there's some writing in the back and my camera does not always want to focus, but let's check it out. So it says Vampire Vineyards has a long tradition of crafting quality wines from our premium California grapes. Our Cabernet Sauvignon has enticing aromas of blackberry, ripe plum, and mocha that lead into flavors of rich black currant and ripe black cherry. It finishes with hints of cocoa and spice. Alrighty. So does that sound good? Or does that sound good? So for my dinner tonight, focus please. So 
anyway, it's been kind of like soup weather. It's cooling down and I love making some soups. And there's one that I fell in love with. It's one of Rachel Ray's. I, I've got two, two of her books downstairs still. So it could be Meals in 30 Minutes or it could be from her Yemo recipe book. But it's really simple to make. She calls it Panzella. And I've just got a little in this bowl right here. But this I make and then I'll freeze different parts and then I kind of use it as a base for other soups. But it's really, really simple to make. A little bit of olive oil in the pan, a ton, because I love onions and peppers. I have got a ton in here. I'm by myself, so I don't, no one cares about my breath when you're by yourself. Unless, of course, Mr. Griffin's coming over. Yeah, he, well, he would probably like it. Puppies like odd smells, don't they? Yeah, so tons of onions and peppers kind of saute it in that little bit of olive oil just a little bit of salt pepper I put Italian seasoning in there some fresh garlic love that smell when it's all kind of cooking together once that kind of all cooks and comes down a little bit I, I sprinkle a little bit of balsamic vinegar in it just to kind of add a little ding and then from there it's just wicked easy I didn't use tomato paste this time because it's really thick but you can use tomato paste in to thicken it a uh, couple of cups of chicken broth. I've got uh, one of those great big 28 ounce cans, I think, of crushed tomatoes. Um, just kind of get that to a nice boil. And then you know what you do? You get some stale bread. Well, I don't always have stale bread because I don't buy bread anymore because I'll eat it. So I'll buy a loaf and then I'll just stick it in the refrigerator, kind of let it dry out a little bit. And then you just rip it, rip it up put it in there, boil it with it. It kind of absorbs it and makes a really nice stoop. And then I just put some cheese on top and it's uh, it's really, really good. It's kind of like stick to your ribs, warm. And like I said, I'll make a little bit and then I'll put some in the Ziploc gallon bags or whatever. And then I might just take that out. I might add some pasta to it. Or if I have some leftover vegetables or something, I'll throw that in there, like, like a minestrone soup. Or if I want to fry up a little bit of hamburger or sausage throw that in there it's just really really flexible really simple this was just the basic recipe I didn't do anything extra so anyway it's it's like it's almost like a spaghetti soup without spaghetti mm. really really good alrighty so that's my dinner which I just made a mess luckily I've got my napkin in here yeah I can live on that soup that's why I have to freeze it, because otherwise I would eat out all. Look at my class. I already took the cork out, just to let it breathe a little bit. Coming out, it's a nice, deep purple color. Nice purpley red. It is coating my glass nice. It's got some nice legs. It's going to kind of swish this around. This glass is a little bit heavier. Anyway, so do you have any favorite soups that you like to do this time of year? I love soup this time of year. Put everything in the crock pot once you're, or once you get it going in the wok or something to fry down those vegetables, stick it in the crock pot, and then walk away. Best thing ever. Okay. All right, let's take a sniff. Oh my gosh, it is. It, you can smell the fruits in here. I smell the plum. I smell the cherry. Maybe like a vanilla in here. I am smelling maybe some chocolate, that mocha flavor. Maybe like a tobacco. I've got that sense that I just walked into a nice old tobacco store. Anyway, I'm so excited to try this. I'm more excited that you guys are here to join me. And I'm really excited to be eating my soup. Cheers, everyone. Happy Wednesday. Mm. This is nice. It's got like that buttery kind of a creamy texture like a Chardonnay. Really coats the inside of your mouth. You can feel the tannins right away. It dries a little bit, but there's so much fruit in here. I think that they're probably going to call it a dry wine. To me, I'm saying that it's semi-sweet because those fruit flavors are still kind of lingering. Um, 
not a lot of acidity in it like my mouth isn't watering going crazy but the flavors are there the flavors are really good I mean I don't even know how I, this was maybe nine dollars nine ninety nine or something like that plus shipping because yeah I shipped it but but to me it's a really nice wine it's smooth it's creamy you get the fruits they're kind of like the mocha a little bit of oaky taste maybe with that tannins to kind of dry your mouth out so you got the oak from the barrels it was aged in i'd have one more sip because it's so good this is going to go so good with my soup mm. i'm glad i tried this this is really good I'm, i might have to try some other wines from vampire have you guys had that wine before so anyway that's it so i'm excited to be you know it's not it because i got my 31 days of halloween but i am excited to be having that soup because that's one of the easiest recipes that is and it was either in rachel ray's yummy yummo or one of her 30 minute meals or something wicked wicked easy to do and like i said it's really versatile whether you use chili beans or something in it or regular vegetables you can throw pasta in there if i wasn't doing this on camera i would slice up one of the the bread and of course it's kind of dried out because it's been the refrigerator and i would just kind of heat it and um in my toaster oven i'd put a little bit of butter on it a little bit of garlic but i mean there's enough bread in there you really don't need any more bread but yeah if you guys weren't here that's what i would do yeah that's why i look like this bread so anyway 31 days Halloween. So I've had some fun with this. And again, this was from Children's and Network Hospital. It's upside down. So where was I? So I've got one, two, three. Am I on four? Nope, I must have finished four, so leave that open. I lose track of what videos I've done because I don't always do them in order. But this five is a little one down at the bottom. And upside down it's kinder and i had that kinder one last time in the egg that was really good scary looking so this is called bueno bueno mint i think it says so that is going to be my dessert and it's going to go good with wine since it's got a little bit of cocoa taste in there so anyway thank you guys again for stopping in spending some time with me you guys make my night i'm so excited that you guys stop in to visit with me i'd love to hear about what wines you had tonight and we will all see each other soon so take care everyone stay safe be kind be happy enjoy life have some fun love you guys we'll see you in the next video bye bye